内に閉じ込めたものをコントロールするそれが僕の能力だよ理解できた Alright, what is going on, guys? f u b b l e s back again, coming into the showcase on the brand new Yu Gi Oh! character that just came out. And、uh, oh, damn, I, you know, I haven't seen this Osushi pet. I didn't know that he actually like, hovered. That's cute. I know that, well, they said that he hovered, but I didn't know that he was like, levitating like this. It's, it's adorable. Anyways,、uh, we all know that Bruno has come out recently, and Yu Gi Oh! also is an Arankar killer. But like, the thing is, Ichigo is also an Arankar killer, but nobody cares about. Max transcended Ichigo or Max transcended Bruno. It's all about the Yukio baby. So, shout out to my boy Absol for allowing me to do this showcase. He did get the SP level 5. Honestly, I don't think that he would be a bad character to SP 10, but I honestly wouldn't really recommend it until、um, you get more experience with this character. Let, 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 let's just get into it. This character is a weird one.、Uh, so, he is a human. He does have an Arankar killer and he has an enhanced strong attack recharge link. Going into his skills, he does have. Oh, oops, wrong one. Uh, he does have a fire immunity as well as sprinter plus one.、Uh, he has paralysis on all of his attacks as well as having the disabler plus 10% against technique attribute o r o n k a r So if he has advantage, that's great. He does have a bruiser and berserker of 20%. No havoc, unfortunately. Debilitator of 5 seconds.、Uh, devastation 40%. Frenzy plus one. Guard break. And then on top of that, he does have the killer effect plus、uh, 30%. And then it's plus 50% in co op quests. The killer effect plus 50% in Cobb Quest is incredibly good for this type of character, but unfortunately, his kit is just really, really bad. Even though he does have the increased status element chance against technique attribute or Ronkars, this skill is completely useless if he doesn't have killer. So, in content like IT, this character will only be useful if the enemies are not immune to paralysis, like they were the last time a Ronkar、uh, IT came out. And they also have to be a Ronkars, because, like, Not only do you have to have the right killer, you better hope to God that K Lab decides not to give an immunity to、uh, your specific killer. Like right now, you can't paralyze the hollow, so、uh, Machine Society Nemu is kind of useless there. And I mean, she's still a good character, but like not being able to make use of this skill, in my opinion, literally neuters the character. And even though you will be getting plus 50% damage in、um, co op quests. Uh, the fact that this character did get the 18% magnification for a strong attack really, really hurt him. I hate logging into other people's accounts. <laughs> it literally just like messes it up. Alright, l there we go. So let's,、uh, let's take him into IZ and just see exactly what kind of damage we can dish out with this character. I'm hoping that at the very least we'll be able to deal relatively good damage. Keep in mind that he'll be dealing more damage in co op type content, but. Like getting people to join me just so that I can try to solo something that I'll probably not perform well in. I, I'm not gonna lie, that 18% magnification literally just kills a character for me. It killed the、uh, Spirit Society Ichigo for me, even though his design looks really cool. So, going into his Nat String, probably one of the coolest Nat Strings to look at. <laughs> that is pretty dope. And he's also playing on his thing, and you can actually see his、uh, fingers actually moving around, which I think is actually pretty good. Now, one thing to note is that the animation for it is definitely、uh, misleading. But you can clearly see that this does not reach as far as it would like to pretend. So、uh, let's see if we can get to.、Um, we should be hitting them soon. There it is. So you do have some pretty good range on it, but it is pretty misleading based on the animation. So that's one thing to note.、Um, the first strong attack is going to be the 18% magnification. So it will. Let me just. <clears throat> it shouldn't hit、um, the white one on the right side. Oh, it actually did. So you have some pretty good spread on it, and then on top of that,、uh, it does push back the enemies quite a bit, and it does have quite a lot of hits. So the chances of you paralyzing with that first strong attack is actually pretty high as long as you have killer.、Um, the second strong attack is going to be the same as Bankai Shuhei's, but instead of it looking like an explosion, it kind of looks like an implosion. Like it feels like、uh, you're taking them into like, a different dimension of some sort. But I mean, for all intents and purposes, it、uh, acts exactly the same. Like you saw the enemy just get pushed back, even though it looks like、uh, the what do you call it went into the void. A third strong attack, he does bring out his little Game Boy, and、um, I mean, it's a cute animation for a third strong attack. Unfortunately, like I said, look at that. First strong attack, barely able to even like, hit the enemy behind, even though you did、uh, kill the other enemies just fine. Boom, boom. So, dealing 14,000 damage with a third strong attack. Keep in mind, like I said, SP is at level 5, it's not at level 10. So that's not、uh, bad damage from that.、Uh, ooh, that guy's coming. 
it's not bad damage from the third strong attack. It's, in fact, it's actually pretty damn good. Because you're getting the Aronkar killer, and then you're also getting the uh, chance to paralyze, the higher chance to paralyze, and you're also getting a plus 30% uh, to the killer effect. Not 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 damage, it's just killer effect. So you're getting some pretty good damage off that as well. So instead of a 20% killer, you're actually getting a 50% killer, which means in content like IZ, you're actually going to be dealing a lot of damage. So you deal uh, almost 3,000 damage to those enemies, and then you deal 5,100 damage to those, right? So you're dealing essentially like, I want to say, uh, you know what, let, 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 let's do the math on that. Let's do, uh, really? Come on. Uh, let's, let's just... Alright, whatever. Let me, let me bring out a real character. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we're dealing... Uh, let's uh, bring this in. So, 50... 100, and then we're going to divide that by the 2900 that we were dealing. So you're dealing roughly 75% more damage if you have killer. Now that's going to uh, factor in the uh, killer effect plus 30%, and obviously if you're doing co-op, you're going to be dealing even more damage, which is really, 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 really good. Alright, so going into the special. It's so cool. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the animation for that actually looks really, really, really good. Because, like, everything gets all pixelated and stuff. It kind of reminds me of Arena in a way. So, 27,400. Honestly, that is abysmal type damage. But, like I said, keep in mind SP level 5, not SP level 10. <laughs> <coughs> not only that, but we're not getting weak in defense. A lot of the characters that are coming out that are like super meta now, like uh, characters like Bruno, Arpukichigo, Aizen, uh, even Yamamoto, all have weakening. And weakening is just such a huge amplifier to your damage. Alright, so uh, let's retry this. Let's put a Senkaizen link and see what we can do with that. Overall, I don't think that he's a bad character, but I do feel like he's... I do feel like he could have just been better if Kalab decided to just give him a good first strong attack. I, I, I honestly feel like Kalab does this to punish me. I feel like Kalab goes out of their way to be like, you know what? This could be good on that character, right? But, yo, Spite likes to get pissed off every time we give this 18% magnification. Let's put it into like three banners back to back. Let's keep doing that. We got the Spirit Society Ichigo, we got the Christmas Raruka and the Bruno banner, and now we got this Yukio, bro. So we can't escape it. And they don't give this first strong attack all that often, but they do give it to like almost every like range character that they don't want to be meta. I'm so used to Sprinter Plus 2 now, it's crazy. 9600. Now I do have full stamps, so I have to be more careful. Uh, let's check out what the third strong attack does. So 17.9k against the uh, Aronkars. I'm not gonna. Oh, his animations are freaking sick, though. Honestly, if you have killer and you have attribute advantage in content like IT, I do feel like this Yukio could be a really good support character just because you do get all those hits with his uh, with his strong attacks. Like his first strong attack is literally just a bunch of multi hits, right? Let's see, 263 on four enemies. We went all the way up to 285 hits. Uh, so like 22 hits across four enemies and some of them died. Well, literally all of them died, which is good. Boom, boom. Yeah, so overall, honestly, for content like IT, I can see this being a pretty good uh, character. But like, at, at what point do you want a support character over someone like Bruno or, or Ichigo there, right? Look at that. We were able to paralyze like relatively off rip, which is actually pretty good. Let's see if we can get it again with the first strong attack. Nice, yeah. So you'll see that the disabler is really, 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 really good. And for content like IT where you deal significantly more damage, if they get paralyzed, well, if they get any type of status ailment, like it will be good, but that's my issue, right? You have to have advantage and you have to have, you have to, you just have to have full on killer advantage and attribute advantage. And for that, honestly, the only places you're gonna really see that 
are is literally in IT and maybe IZ, but at, in IZ, why are you not using the Link Slot Potion Plus character and just making more value from your soul tickets and your time, right? So I, that's my main issue when it comes down to it. Overall, do I think Yukio is a good character? Yeah, I do. I think that he's a pretty good character. I think he does what Caleb intended him to do. Normally, um, when I see an 18% magnification, like I feel like Spirit Society Ichigo, for example, doesn't do what he he doesn't do what K-Lab needed him to do. We already have plenty of replacements for that Spirit Society Ichigo, but when it comes to this Yukio, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that he's the only char power character with Disabler for Aronkar enemies. So that's definitely one thing to note, and it, it is kind of unfortunate that they don't really release this all that often. Um, I, I feel like in this day and age, most characters should start getting this, just so that way we can fit uh, more characters into IT rather than just being like, oh, this character is meta, this character can auto. Because not every person is going to have these meta characters, right? Like, I don't expect everyone to have Jushiro. I don't expect everyone to have uh, Anniversary Aizen. I don't expect everyone to have Art Book Ichigo. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> do I think that this is a good character? I think that he does his job. I think that he does what he needs to do. But you're going to be landing in a, a support role. Like, at the, at the end of the day, that's what, you're, that's what you are. You're a support character. Um, Fortunately, he is a premium pull character, so should you pull him, I do think he's worth working on. Because if you get like two copies of him, I think that not only will he do his job, but he'll actually be able to do his job well, and he'll be able to deal damage. Because when you deal a status element in content like IT, at the very least, you are able to deal significantly more damage to them. You literally double your damage, and then when you have killer, you also get access to... Uh, your killer effect, right? So, I mean, there is that, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Just grind on catch up, hit me up, stay blessed. Is this banner worth summoning on? No, it's not worth summoning for Yukio in particular. If you get him, great. He's he, he does his job. But um, if, if you if you're like de deciding on whether or not you want to summon for him, no, don't 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 do it to yourself. <laughs>